people know me as Sprout, the Fae of Seeds. Over the years, I just kind of gradually became more and more obsessed with the Woodland Fairy style. So this is kind of like my ideal Woodland Fairy look. I definitely wouldn't wear it on a normal occasion, but this is like my peak aesthetic right here. I know my style is really unique, but today I'm gonna be transforming into an everyday glam girl. I have mixed feelings about the crop top. I would probably never wear these shoes. Are you ready to see it? Oh yeah. Oh my God. I look so weird. My entire makeup process takes about an hour and a half. When I was first trying my makeup out, it took about two hours. I've got a routine down, I'd say, for sure. Hi, my name is Michaela. I'm 26 years old and I live in Ohio. But most people know me as Sprout, the Fae of Seeds. I'm a professional fairy and I play Sprout at Renaissance festivals. I've been dressing up, I would say, as like a woodland fairy or an elf for probably about 10 years now. I think over the years, I just kind of gradually became more and more obsessed with the woodland fairy style. Being a fairy to me, means bringing joy to everyone else around me, especially children, and being able to play pretend and just kind of escape from reality, I guess. I would say the makeup for this look is very important, mostly just because it stands out and most people don't do full body makeup like this. And it, I think it makes me really unique as a professional fairy. So this is my air compressor that I use to put on the base colors of my makeup. And then I use this airbrush gun and I pour some makeup in it. Pour it in like that. And then I'll spray it and it'll spray on my face like that. Dressing up like this kind of makes me feel like I'm wearing a mask. Even though I'm not physically wearing a mask, but I feel like I can act more silly around people. If I were to look normal and go out in public and act like Sprout, I'd feel really self-conscious about it. But when I'm dressed as Sprout, I feel like I can actually act and be silly and goofy and people will accept it. So this is kind of like my ideal Woodland Fairy look. I definitely wouldn't wear it on a normal occasion, but this is like my peak aesthetic right here. And then I have all my clothes right here and here. I'd say this section is for more like costumey garb pieces. And then down here is for my more socially acceptable pieces. I very rarely wear jeans. Only if I'm going to like a nice family Christmas event or something like that. They're usually in my colors like red or brown or green. I've gotten comments on the internet saying things like, oh look, another fatherless daughter. <laughs> or just saying things like, that's so weird, what are you doing? Uh, most people love it though. I know my style is really unique, but today I'm gonna be transforming into an everyday glam girl. I have a bag full of clothing that I'm going to transform into. I assume this is a top. Uh, I, I, I have mixed feelings about the crop top. I, I would not normally show my belly off like that, so we'll see what happens. All right, we got some standard jeans. I would normally never wear jeans like this. <laughs> a silver necklace, which considering the butterflies is not too far from my style. And then a wig. Oh wow, it's got some highlights in it. I would probably never wear these shoes because one, they're high heels and two, it looks like it would expose my entire foot. <laughs> and I don't have the prettiest feet, so. Today, I will be revealing my look to my husband. I'm excited to see what his reaction will be. Hi. Hi. Come on in. I'm Amber. Michaela, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Aria. Michaela, nice to meet you. Hello. So what do you guys think is gonna be the biggest challenge for this makeover? Probably getting all the the makeup off. I was gonna say, yeah, with the <laughs> removal. I, I'll have like splotches of green or like yellow in my ears for days. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm being pampered right now. <laughs> like Beyonce. Yeah. <laughs> Do you ever wear any kind of like bold, smoky eye looks? Never. So this will be a real good yeah. look for you. Those well, silver smoky eyes are really gonna make your eye color stand out. Put the we on fits okay over my side shade. Alright. Alright, 
Are you ready to see it? Oh yeah. Okay. Grand reveal. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't look like myself at all. My hair. Everything. <laughs> everything's so weird. No. <laughs> I, I'm not a fan of the belly showing. I don't like the jeans. <laughs> I really like the hair. I like the makeup. I would just maybe do warmer colors, especially with the makeup. I feel like I kind of look like my high school self. <laughs> the clothing's a little different than what I would have worn, but that's kind of what I look like, I think. Um, but I haven't looked like this in so many years, so I, I, I really barely recognize myself. I think Ryan's gonna really like it, and I think he's going to be kind of shocked because I don't look the same at all. We've been together for about five years. We've been married for three, three and a half. Ever since we've been married, it's just got progressively more and more towards Sprout. You look beautiful. <laughs> I love it. I love, what? The, I love the shoes. You, know, <laughs> you love the shoes. Them. Better take a good look at them. This is the last time we're going to see them off. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I really like it, but I mean, <laughs> So you see the other way? It's definitely not for me personally. I like it. I think I look pretty, but it's just not my style. And so I probably wouldn't wear something like this again. I'm most looking forward to taking my shoes off because sorry, but they they hurt. <laughs> I think Sprout would love my makeover because she thinks humans are really adorable, kind of like how humans look at puppies. So I think she would like it and think it's cute. We have two trans kids. Anyone can be whoever they want. I'm just owning it. Our family is seen to be very unconventional. So I had kids and I can't be hot anymore. Like, moms are hot too. People say I look like a thug, but I love thugs. I take that as a compliment. I'm bored of people thinking that I cannot be intimate. I'm a young, single, hot piece of disabled booty. I feel like I'm going to look at myself and be like, who is that? Life is way too short to be hiding. It is my story. It is my truth.